Welcome back to the channel. Uh, today we're going to be diving into uh, my bakery project. Uh, it's going to be built on this side of the layout. Um, it's going to be uh, left of the window, kind of in this area, starting in that kind of back corner and going about halfway. For this project I'm going to be using the Magic Pan Bakery as well as uh, the Walther's Flour Mill. And I'm also going to be using a couple parts from the modern cold storage that I've left over from my cold storage building, which is mostly complete up here, but uh, there'll be another video for that. So I've got the base here for the Magic Pan Bakery, and originally it's designed to be kind of this square building with the uh, office up against it. Um, so I'm not going to be using that. I'm going to be kind of making it a backdrop building. So here are some of the parts left over from the cold storage building. Um, I have a few of the wall panels left. Um, a man door and three truck loading docks. Um, as you can see here, I patched together all the pieces. Dog hair. It's literally on everything, no matter how clean I try to keep it. Uh, flipping it around to the back side, you can see all the pieces of the panels that I uh, guess kit bashed together to kind of make this shape here. Um, I tried to fill in the uh, the lines and whatnot with some uh, Tamiya filler. Um, it's still noticeable after I paint it, but and then uh, these panels here are part of the uh, Magic Pan Bakery, so I have uh, two boxcar loading doors and one man door and that's going to go to the left side of the uh, cold storage facility and that's going to go in that kind of start in that back corner there so this is the structure that kind of is uh, near the silo so I kind of have that butted up against the uh, doors there there's just kind of a silo I'll just kind of stick in there just for illustrative purposes just kind of get an idea of what I was thinking so that's kind of it's kind of what I'm going with so here you can see that's uh, kind of gluing together the uh, cold storage parts to the bakery parts um, yeah I just kind of glued them just up against these little um, you know guide pins fit pins, I don't know, whatever you want to call them, we'll just put it up against that. Alright, so I got a couple of the uh, flour mill wall panels together. Uh, they're just kind of taped. I'm um, kind of going to use the back panel uh, up against the wall to kind of extend the building and make it also a bit of a backdrop. So, added a door there. As you see, you got the silos. Just all coming together pretty good. I'm pretty happy with the way it looks so far. Um, I glued a wall panel to the office building to kind of bring it all together and then that whole structure will be slid down to the very corner. Um, it's just easier to work on here. So I'm going to move on to some painting in a minute but uh, I've also glued together uh, this little top structure here. Um, that goes up here, but I'll add that when I have the roof assembly complete. Also done this uh, chimney in the boiler house, uh, some docks here and here. So as I get ready for painting, um, what I had done here is I wiped all the panels down with uh, these alcohol swabs. Uh, cut out all the windows, doors, any of the other detail parts, and I glued them to these uh, painter sticks that I got from the dollar store. Or you could probably get them from Home Depot if you ask nicely. Um, and then I just kind of taped them on, and that way I can label them uh, which color they're supposed to be for when I spray paint or airbrush those. 
All right. Leaving the paint booth now. I've got all my parts painted, dried, and I removed them from the uh, sticks. I also painted all the wall panels to kind of all match, except that I didn't paint the uh, flower mill yet. That'll be kind of a, a part two. Um, the doors, I spray painted red. I thought red doors would look kind of cool on the silo. Uh, I went with brown for the doors, the loading doors. Um, some more parts here. Silver for the office windows. Um, this is kind of where I oversprayed or was too close and it kind of... Some would say maybe even ruined, but I'm, I'm going to try and cover it up with some weathering and maybe a graffiti sticker. So we're going to wrap it up with a still shot of uh, what I've completed so far. Um, got uh, all those kind of parts that I had um, painted kind of glued in. So the windows, doors uh, for the office, uh, the loading bays, all that's kind of been glued together. Um, just kind of place some uh, storage kind of industrial tanks near the left of the flour mill and to the left of the silos there, just for some interest. Um, this is going to be uh, it for part one of the bakery build. I'm trying to keep them short so you don't have to sit through a 30 minute video while I build it and I can still produce some content for everyone to to view and comment on. It's always appreciated. Um, yeah, so uh, next steps is going to be, uh, I'm going to show you the um, kind of the sign that's going to go at the top of the building here. So here's the uh, the actual Weston's Bakery, um, or Weston's Foods. It's in uh, Kitchener, Ontario, where I live. Um, it's actually not Weston's anymore. Weston's uh, sold off their uh, bakery and food production to another company. I'm not sure of the name, but this is what it looked like before. So in the next video, I'm gonna be uh, showing how I make that uh, iconic sign that's at the top of the building there. Um, this bakery in, in real life is not rail served, but the Kitchener rail yard and the, uh, the rail line is right behind this bakery. So it's close enough for me and my uh, railroad of lies per se. Well, thanks for following along. Uh, I'm going to end the video here, and uh, I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope you uh, sh stick around and follow along this uh, bakery build and my layout build. Thanks again. See you on the next one.